Good morning. As you can see, Woodstock is being pummeled at the moment by snow. But earlier today, our Ibizo George reported on digital photography. Here she is with the report. Before much advancement in technology, cameras looked like this. Only a few people owned one. Now with today's handy digital innovations, almost everybody owns one. Professional photographers like Brent MacArthur has seen the impact of technology on his industry. I think probably it's, it's had some concerns in the professional industry in, in, in the last few years with the, ons, uh, the, the forthcoming of digital. MacArthur says professional photographers have more experience and skills than an average person with a digital camera. I, I think the, the big part to the digital side is, and people are finding that, is that you know, they can buy a digital camera and, and take their own photographs, but there's still more to it. You know, there's the posing, there's the lighting, there's the locations. Um, all kinds of things. Photographers think that good relations and quality service will keep customers loyal. Customer service is being able to provide a, a good service to our customers um, and, and really showing them the value in coming to us, uh, the services we provide and what we do. Photography students at the college are positive about their job prospects when they graduate. I'm pretty optimistic just because uh, even though everybody is going digital, that doesn't mean that they know how to use the camera that they have or that they can take a good sellable picture. I find that there's still chances for uh, opportunity in having, uh, creating a business and having you bring yourself out there. I'm in the photography course to learn and become better and I think like, if you take more courses then you'll be more experienced. So the people that just have the point-and-shoot cameras won't be as experienced and it's the quality of the work that matters. In spite of these technology changes, photographers are not discouraged. They are positive they'll still be needed decades from now. In Woodstock, Ibiso George, Community College News. Be sure to tune in for many more stories during the day.